Mr Clark. I members business bills. Notice of motion number three. Mr Picton to move. The member for Ghana. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr Speaker. And I move that I have leave to introduce a bill for an act to amend the Tobacco Products Regulation Act 1997. Is that seconded? Is that seconded? All those in favour say aye. Against say no. It's carried. Mr Clark. Bill for an act to amend the Tobacco Products Regulation Act 1997. And for Ghana. Thank you. I move that this bill now be read a second time. Mr Speaker, this bill seeks to establish a regulatory scheme for the sale, supply and use of e-cigarettes, an industry that is currently unregulated in South Australia. The bill is a reproduction of legislation the former Labor government introduced last year, which unfortunately did not make through that session of parliament prior to the election. We all know the dangers of smoking. We know the benefit that regulation has had in reducing smoking rates. It is very pleasing to note that tobacco smoking rates amongst our entire population, including younger people, have fallen dramatically in recent decades. In 2007, 23 per cent of people aged 15 to 29 were smokers. In 2016, that figure had reduced to 12.3 per cent, so it had almost halved. The government's target for youth smoking in the South Australian Tobacco Control Strategy 2011 to 2016 was achieved two years ahead of time. However, we know that the use of e-cigarettes is on the rise and that there is currently no regulation of these products. The former Labor government introduced this bill off the back of the 2016 World Health Organisation report, which concluded that there was not sufficient evidence that e-cigarettes were safe or that there were no risks arising from exposure to e-cigarette vapour, either directly or passively. And we know that there are risks of children using e-cigarettes and vaping and causing inherent risks of those products as a gateway to smoking. This bill seeks to amend the Tobacco Products Regulation Act 1997 to introduce a range of measures to regulate the sale, supply and use of e-cigarettes. The bill prohibits the sale of e-cigarettes to children retail sales of e-cigarette products without a licence, indirect sales of e-cigarettes such as internet sales, e-cigarette sales from temporary outlets, sales trays and vending machines, the use of e-cigarettes in areas that are smoke-free under the Act currently, advertising promotion specials and pricing promotions for e-cigarettes, retail point-of-sale displays for e-cigarettes. The bill also arose out of the 20 recommendations of the Parliamentary Select Committee investigating e-cigarettes. It was chaired by the former member for Elder during the last parliamentary session and included myself, your good self, the Speaker, uh, the member for Hurdle Vale and the, member for, uh, the Minister for the Environment. And that was a unanimous report uh, recommending those 20 recommendations from that committee. This bill does not ban e-cigarettes outright, nor will it allow a free-for-all approach. It is a sensible first regulatory step that acknowledges the risks of these products balanced against the rights of adults. Currently in South Australia, e-cigarettes can be sold to anyone regardless of their age, meaning that they can be sold to children. They can also be freely advertised and people can vape in enclosed public areas that are currently banned for smoking. Other jurisdictions across Australia have moved to regulate this potentially harmful industry. And it's time that we now do the same. I note that when we had previously introduced this bill, the then opposition, I believe it was yourself then, uh, Mr Speaker, expressed uh, the opposition then, uh, now the government's intention to support the bill. Um, I had hoped that following the election, the government would pick up this bill and run with it and reintroduce it in the parliament. And I wrote to the Minister for Health over a month ago, suggesting that he do so. Um, and a number of health spokespeople um, have also raised that with him and with me as well. However, we have received no response to that calls. Uh, we did not see a bill introduced before the parliament, and hence uh, it's fallen to the opposition and the Labor Party again to act. I hope that the government will now support this bill and ensure that we have sensible regulation in this area in South Australia. Member for Hammond. Move the debate be adjourned, sir. It's been moved. Is that seconded? Sir. I'll put that at once. All those in favour say aye. On the contrary, say no. It's carried. Uh, member for Hammond, the no. other the member for Ghana. The 4th of July. 4th of so. July. Uh, that debate be adjourned to the 4th of July. Is that seconded? Yes, sir. I'll put that at once. All those in favour say aye. aye. Against say no. That is carried.